Welcome back everyone. Have you ever wondered what you get if you combine a picture of a beautiful woman, a little pop artifact, and, well, a rock? Well, here you go. I'm going to show you how I did this effect in Affinity Photo 2. Stick around until the end because, as a bonus, I'm going to show you what you get if you cross another beautiful woman, a wood plank, and a little colour. But first, the pop art rock woman. All right. I've already opened this image of a woman I got from the pixabay.com stock panel. Let me add a rock. I'll drag it into my studio and stretch it across my canvas using the corner nodes. Okay, now with the rock layer selected, I'm going to go to the top menu and select filters and then frequency separation. This will separate the image's high frequency textures from its low frequency colors. I'll move the slider to the right to get more texture and then click on Apply. You can see that I now have two separate layers making up my rock image. The top rock layer is somewhat transparent. So if I delete the bottom rock layer, the image of my model shows through. This already looks pretty cool as it is. But I'm going to do more. I'll click on the Adjustments button at the bottom of my Layers panel and select Posterize. This pop art effect immediately show up. Now, you can change the posterization level. Personally, I never use anything but three or four. I'll use four in this project. Okay, I'll drag and drop the adjustment level onto the woman layer. And then, with that layer selected, I'll click on the Add New Pixel Layer button at the bottom of my Layers panel. This brings up a new layer. I want to brighten up her eyes a bit, so I'll select my paintbrush from the left toolbar. Then I'll go to the Brushes tab and change my brush head to a basic round brush. Then I'll turn the colour to blue and paint over a bit of her eyes. I can make my brush head bigger or smaller by clicking on the right or left square bracket keys a few times. Okay, now I'll go to my blend modes at the top of the layers panel and change the setting to one that fits the scene better. There are a few good options to choose from, but I think I'll go with color. Yeah, that looks good. One last thing, I'm not happy with the way her teeth look. So, select the woman layer and I'll click the mask button at the bottom of the layers panel. Then, if I change my brush color to a gray, it will remove some, but not all of the posterization effect when I paint over her teeth. There, that's the way I want it. Okay, now for the bonus content. I'm going to use the same frequency separation technique to blend this pretty young lady onto a piece of wood. But I'm going to do a few things different so it's worth sticking around. I'll start by using my selection brush tool to isolate the woman from her background. I'll click on my right square bracket key a few times to make my brush head bigger and paint away to select her. Now, I'll use the Refine tool to capture some of the stray hairs on her head. But I don't need to be too precise for this project as you'll see in a bit. Once I have her the way I want her, I'll select Output to New Layer and then click Apply. That looks good to me. Okay, now I'm going to select my Wood Layer and then go to Document in the menu and then rotate 90 degrees clockwise to give it the same orientation as our nice model lady. Then, I'll go select Filters in the menu and the Frequency Separation to split the wood layer into it, a high frequency texture layer and a low frequency color layer. I'll move the slider to the right to get more texture and then click on Apply. Then, I'll delete the low frequency layer as I don't need it anymore. You can see the woman show up now as the high frequency layer is partially transparent. 
I'll select her and turn her 90 degrees to the left, move her into place, and then use the corner nodes to resize the image. OK, that looks good. This time, I'm going to go to the Adjustments button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select Recolor. Then, I'll drag the Adjustment layer onto the Woman layer so it only affects her. Now, I can move around the sliders a bit until she takes on a nice wood-like tone. That looks good to me. I'll close the Adjustment layer and now it's time to work on the wood colour. So, I'll go to Layers in the menu and select New Fill Layer. I'll drag the fill layer below the woman cutout layer. You can already see the texture here. But I want to change the fill color to a more natural wood tone that fits with the woman's color. To do that, with the fill layer selected, I'll go to my color wheel and play around with the color until it looks right to me. Okay, that looks great. All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.